Greg Van Wick, Things You Need to Start Your Own Business. Are you thinking of starting your own business? It's a big decision, but it can also be a very rewarding one. There are a lot of things you'll need to do to get started, but don't worry, Greg Van Wick is here to help. In this video, Greg Van Wick outlines the most important things you need to get started. Essentials for Starting a Business, by Greg Van Wick. Conduct Market Research. As an essential step to starting your own business, market research is key in order to determine whether your product or service is needed and what the demand is. It's important to understand your target market and what needs they have that are not currently being met. This can be done through online research, surveys, interviews, and focus groups. Once you have a good understanding of the market, you can then start to tailor your business plan to meet those needs. Conducting market research can seem like a daunting task, but there are many resources available to help you get started. The Small Business Administration, SBA, is a great place to start, as they offer free counseling and workshops on starting your own business. The U.S. Census Bureau is also a wealth of information, as they collect data on everything from population size to income levels. You can also check out trade associations and chambers of commerce in your area to get a better understanding of the business landscape. There are many different ways to collect market research, so it's important to choose the method that best fits your needs. Online surveys are a quick and easy way to gather data, but you may not reach your target market if they're not active online. Interviews and focus groups can be more time-consuming, but they offer a chance to really dig into the needs and wants of your target market. Whichever method you choose, make sure you're asking the right questions in order to get the information you need to make informed decisions about your business. Write your business plan. No matter what kind of business you want to start, you need to have a business plan. A business plan is a document that outlines your business goals, strategies, and tactics. It also includes your marketing plan and financial projections. Creating a business plan can seem like a daunting task, but it doesn't have to be. You can start by using a business plan template to get an idea of what goes into a plan. Once you have an understanding of the structure and format, you can start writing your own business plan. Here are some tips from Greg Van Wick for writing your own business plan. 1. Define your business goals. What do you want to achieve with your business? What are your long-term and short-term goals? Be specific and realistic in your goals. 2. Research your industry. What are the trends in your industry? What is the competition like? Knowing this information will help you create strategies to stay ahead of the competition. 3. Describe your business model. How will you make money? What are your revenue streams? Be sure to include all the details in your plan. 4. Create a marketing plan. How will you get customers? What are your marketing channels? Include a mix of online and offline marketing tactics in your plan. 5. Write a financial projection. This is one of the most important parts of your business plan. It would be best if you had a clear understanding of your expenses and income. Include a break-even analysis to show when your business will become profitable. Creating a business plan is an essential step in starting your own business. By taking the time to write a plan, you can increase your chances of success. Use these tips to get started on writing your own business plan. Choose a business structure. There are many different types of business structures to choose from when starting your own business. The type of business structure you choose will impact various aspects of your business, including how much personal liability you have, how easy it is to raise capital, and how much paperwork you have to file. The most common types of business structures in the United States are sole proprietorships, partnerships, limited liability companies, LLCs, and corporations. Each type has its own advantages and disadvantages, so it's important to choose the right one for your business. Register your business. Depending on the type of business you're starting, the process for registering can vary slightly. However, there are a few key steps that are common to all businesses. First, you'll need to choose a legal structure for your business. This will determine things like how you're taxed and what kind of liability protection you have. Once you've done that, you'll need to register your business with the appropriate government agencies. In the United States, this usually means registering with your state's Secretary of State. You may also need to get a business license or permit from your local government. Finally, you'll need to get an employer identification number from the IRS. This is used for tax purposes and will be required if you have any employees. Get federal and state tax IDs. Getting your federal and state tax IDs is important so that you can legally operate your business. You can apply for your tax IDs online or at your local IRS office. Apply for licenses and permits. 
Once you have your tax IDs, you will need to apply for any licenses or permits that are required for your business. Most businesses will need a general business license as well as any industry-specific licenses or permits. You can usually apply for these online or through your local chamber of commerce. Open a business bank account. Finally, you will need to open a business bank account. This will allow you to keep your personal and business finances separate. It is important to have a business bank account so that you can track your expenses and income. You can open a business bank account at most major banks or online through a number of different financial institutions. Greg Van Wick's Concluding Thoughts There are many different types of marketing platforms, and it can be not easy to decide which one is right for you. Greg Van Wick has outlined the pros and cons of each of the different types of marketing platforms so that you can make an informed decision. The final decision comes down to what works best for your specific business. Thanks for watching.